Hello. Hey everyone, this is Shag with his totally random, spontaneous sort of a let's play of this game, Yoshi's Story. Mostly I had the N64 lying around for um the late Mario Tennis LP and I decided, hey! Also I just sort of randomly wanted to do something. Out of the blue, the island fell, darkened by an evil spell. Oh, those Yoshis are such poets. The blink of an eye was all it took, and the island became a storybook. The super happy tree vanished, too, and once happy Yoshis began to stew. And I'm, let me tell you, Yoshis make a good stew. Down a little beef bro- oh, be only baby Bowser could be so mean to ruin the happy Yoshi's dream! The island had paid an awful cost for the super happy tree was lost. E cats. Elsewhere on the Papa Bile, some Yoshi eggs survived the trial. And let me tell you, Yoshi's eggs are also good eats. You get Yoshi stew, some scrambled Yoshi eggs. Excellent. Brunch dinner. I don't know. The spawn exits into the Yoshi's test with two fish baby Bowser's test. One by one, they began to have six little Yoshi's. A perfect batch. What's so perfect about six? That's the greatest number I've ever heard of. God. They scratched their heads and looked around. Some even tried to pound the ground. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, sadness darkened every Yoshi's face. It should have been a super happy place. Perhaps a super special awesome one. They quickly saw the problem, but Hatton required a cunning Yoshi plan. I guess baby Yoshis are born with genius intellect. We grew super happy the Yoshis thought we'll spoil Bowser's evil plot. If their mission then was crystal clear, they had to go and spread the cheer. And they do this by throwing eggs at enemies and gathering fruit for themselves and hearts or something. So it was all agreed that we did a rescue super happy tree. This intro sequence is kind of slow. I want to dull the head with a painful blow to the head. <laughs> I, okay, whatever. So Yoshi's story basically, their story is that they suck. And start from page two. What? Hang on. I'm gonna pull up my old best friend's younger brother from when we were three and who didn't know how to read. Delete, delete, delete. Wow, they don't even give you are you are really, really sure? But anyway, I have a little bit of a history with this game. A little. There's probably a new game if I access that button, you know. Shut up, me. <laughs> so with this game, I remember specifically getting it because I was being a whiny little... little kid. And then my mom went and bought it for me, along with a blue Yoshi stuffed... plush... thingamajig. And, um... This is one of those games where you're like, hey, this is kind of fun, and then you expect more, because it ends in like four chapters, because you don't have to do all the levels at once. You do one each chapter, and then there's the final showdown. So yeah, that's about it. Which levels will I do? Probably I'll start with page one, beginnings, treasure hunt, because I don't really remember how to play this, actually. Reveal the lucky fruit! Spin, wheel, spin! Wheel of fortune! Bing bong! Grapes! Ah, Yoshis! This was the color of the Yoshi thing that I got. The same day that I got this game. And this color over here is one that was in Smash Bros, and I came up with some extremely stupid name for him, like Bob the Discolored Donkey. I honestly don't... I, I don't even... So who do we pick? Oh my gosh! You can't just scramble it up randomly. Let's just be classical Yoshi. By the way, this game is the game where they started using the annoying Yoshi voice that would persist throughout the entirety of forever. Oh my gosh, he changed color. I remember this. 
Yes, the, if they are the right color, they get you more points. So yes. How does I control game? Will there? C buttons? B, okay. The proper obstacle of each stage in this game is to get the... the... melons, as you see in that right bubble there. But, um, if you don't care so much for points, you can just sort of gobble everything up in sight and probably not even get to the end of the level before you're declared finished. If I remember correctly, you pop these with... Okay, you pop them with eggs. Screw you, guy. Okay. Can I get all the melons? Probably not. There's definitely score going on. Uh, between the lucky fruit, the Yoshi's favorite fruit, which is usually determined by color. In this case, I believe I would like wild melons. Look at these one. And other random fruit, like this one. See, that fruit doesn't count for much. But this thing here is lucky. Fun fact! If you eat today's lucky fruit, you will earn a whopping eight tots. One more thing, do a ground deposit to a shy guy while you're super happy. Super happy is of course the invincibility. Press start to pause, you'll see Yoshi's mood and much more. Lucky and favorite fruits are shown, along with any special hearts that you found. Uh, so we found no hearts, our lucky fruit is grapes, our favorite fruit is watermelons, and Yoshi's mood is 943. I did not know moods could be quantified by numbers. The more you know, the less you die. Okay. It's Miss Warp. There's... Okay. They warp you around the level. Oh my gosh. There are four Miss Warps in each corpse. Find them and wake them up. So yeah, this is a game with Yoshi and he's like, Yoshi! Instead of... Which is annoying. I've already clarified this point. But there were a lot of neat things from this series, if I remember correctly. This guy's not one of them. In fact, he's pretty lame. Shut up, Pack E Derm. Don't look at me like that. I lick your undies. Yeah, that's gross. Okay. It's a surprise ball. If you use your tongue on it, you'll be surprised like. Jeez. Whoa, that's surprising. Okay. I've solved the random puzzle of the day. Delicious. Oh, 